Hello everyone, how are you doing? We are doing well. I am Panzer, this is Nico, and Hello. today we're going to open our Loot Crates. If you are unfamiliar with what Loot Crate is, it is a monthly subscription service, and every month you get one of these bad boys delivered to wherever you get mail. Loot Crate services a ton of different countries, as well as APO and AFOs, so if you're interested, there'll be a link in the info below. Every month there is a theme. The month coming up, so August, August is, is August is, is crate is anti-hero themed, so there'll be stuff from Hell Boy, Harley Quinn, Archer, and what's the other one? Kill Bill. Kill Bill! I mean, you didn't have to whisper it. You could have just thought it. <laughs> Thank you, though. Every day I'm shuffling. So yeah, if you're interested in that, there'll be a link in the info below. It's lootcrate.com slash trade chat, and you can use code trade chat to get a discount off of your very first crate. This crate that we're opening today is futuristic themed. There's stuff from, I believe, Star Trek and Rick and Morty and Mega Man. I can't open it. I'm trying. Valiant Comics and something else that I can't remember. So we're going to open this up and see what's inside. I use oh my, oh Futurama, oh my god! Whoa. <sighs> okay, Whoa. Futurama was the other thing, and the Futurama is It is the amazing. freaking spaceship they fly around in, Woo! It is amazing, oh my god, I have to open this. That Look at the box, the box is art is so good. Fantastic. This is so nice. Fantastic. Wow, this is legitimately worth the $20 in and of itself. Come to me. Oh my god, this is so nice. Oh my god, that's so cool. Uh, Put it on the little pedestal. I know, I'm doing it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You said recently that you're watching through Futurama. I am. Right? That is a true story. Wait, is yeah. that magnetic? Boom! Wow, that's Magnet. So, that's so futuristic, don't you think? Oh. Wow. Turn that's... it upside down. Turn it upside down. Oh, works. But it's a magnet. Doing its gerb. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. I, it's... Okay. I'm going to go ahead and say user error. User error for Magnet sure. works fine. What is that? What is that? It's like the... The I dot... ID 10T. The ID 10T <laughs> error is the one I just made. This is amazing. This is so well made. It's made by QM, who does all of the little Q-pop figs, and it's super well made. I love that it's on a magnet. Like, that's just so cool. Oh, oh that's awesome. That's an awesome. That, that's, that's really awesome. And the that's box a real art, awesome. too. Like, I don't know if any of you guys are, like, nerds for packaging, but the packaging on this box is phenomenal as well. It's like all, oh. Can we do Mega Man next? Yeah, we can do the Mega Please? Man next. Yes. Okay, so the next thing I have, is this a figure two? I don't know, I just wanted to open it because it is said Mega a, Man on it. Is this a figure two? I think it's a, it might be a blind box. Yeah, it's a blind box. I am an expert knife wielder. I don't believe that at all. I got a little red Mega Man. Is, is that what red Mega Man is called? Is he also Mega Man? Trying to cover my face. There we go. Put, get, put your face away. God. Ah. Little red Mega Man. Did you get the same one? I don't know if you're taking. Oh, wow. I mean, please. Make that plastic as loud as you can. <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. <laughs> same one. Same one. Same Little one. Red Mega Mans. They're very cute. A couple months ago, no, it's probably more like a year ago, we got um, a Mega Man item. Oh my god, it was probably longer than that. It was probably like two years ago. Do you remember we got the helmet, the replica helmet? I think it's in your office. Yes. Um, it's the same one that he's wearing. Is is Red Mega Man just Mega Man, or is he a special? Character? Uh, no, no, that's just regular. Oh, he's just regular. Yeah, is see, Mega Man usually it's blue, number though? one. I know, but isn't Mega Man usually blue? Yeah, like well, you. It depends on what power ups you have, but I think at the beginning of the game he starts blue, so they usually advertise him. Okay. Blue. You're not All right, wrong. The next thing that you're I not have... wrong. Okay. Whoa, is this one? It's okay. Wait. So the next thing is a comic book. Oh. Oh, this is obviously the Valiant Comics. This is edition number one, episode one, book one, series one of the four thousand one A.D. comic. 
And this looks like it is an exclusive Loot Crate variant of the cover. I keep all of mine closed and then Nico opens his so that we can look in the inside. What do you think it's about? Open to? yours. And you don't have to. No, I'm just kidding. You don't have to. Please be, please be gentle, though. Rip it. Rip it real good. Oh, my God. It looks like it's about a guy with superpowers and a sword. That is what it looks like. Confirmed. Whoa. That's cool. Show the people at home. Show the people at home. Here, give me that piece of cardboard. Get that out of your way. All right, they saw it. What well, else do you Maybe got? they were trying to read the whole page. Don't read the whole page. Dinosaurs. Oh, there's dinosaurs involved. What is it? What is this noise that I'm hearing? There's oh space and dinosaurs. Okay. Space and dinosaurs. I mean, do you need to know any more than that? Shh, Go read it. You're yelling. Hurry up. Oh my god. Yes, yeah, so there's space and dinosaurs and a guy with a sword. So we'll do, do you want to do the shirt last or do you want to, oh my god, the pin. Oh, the pin. Oh my god, the pin is sick. The pin this month is a live long and prosper Vulcan mm. symbol. It's really cool. Oh my god, that's sick. I love the pin. And it also says Star Trek Online on it, so it probably unlocks something for Star Trek Online because there's always digital loot attached to the pin. So we also we have our we have Star our Trek? mini mag. You want to do the Star Trek one? This is going to be a metal buildable. You know what I'm talking about? Soft. It's not soft, it's metal. I'm almost positive that's what this is gonna be. Oh, what? Is this a sticker? This is cool. Where am I gonna put this? It looks like a plaque, like a like a plaque you'd get. Oh, I totally And I just, <laughs> I bent the crap out of mine. Why'd you do that? Cause I was like, it's soft. <laughs> oh my God. Not I don't soft. think you did though, baby, because that's plastic that's over top of it. Look, there's a protective yeah. barrier. Mm. I, I don't think, think it might be all right. We're going to be okay. Oh my God. Inside of the box is rad too. Oh yeah. It's set up so that you can display the, um, the Futurama, the Futurama thing. It's like a landing pad. Very cool. Yep. And then the shirt is... I don't understand the shirt. Oh, it's Rick and Morty. So I've never seen Rick and Morty. I've never seen Me Rick neither. and Morty. No? No. So, okay, I'm I'm definitely a fan of adult and I'm, first of all, the shirt looks cool. Let me just say this. It does. Before I don't understand the shirt, but it's a cool looking shirt. And I also like anything blue because it complements my hair. Um, but so here's my feelings about Rick and Morty. I like adult animated shows. Like I do. Yep. I like like Oh, God, here I go. But I like, like, Futurama. I like Simpsons. I like Family Guy. I even like, like, borderline shows like Adventure Time. And there's just something about the animation style of Rick and Morty that I don't like. It's, like, a very ugly color palette that's not <laughs> pleasing to my eye. Like, it's, like, very, like, yellow and blue. That like But, like, this kind of... I don't know. I just... <laughs> just looking at it doesn't make me happy. So I, I've never, like, ventured out to watch it, but I've heard good things about it, oddly enough. It's not like... I've never heard anybody who yeah, watched Rick and Morty, it. like, say bad things about it. I've heard, like, oh, it's so funny and it's so good. But, like, I can't get past... The animation style is almost aggressive. There's something aggressive looking about it. It's, like, very jarring with the... With that, like, pastel yellow and blue. Yeah, it's... I've only seen pictures. I haven't watched an episode either. So no thoughts on Rick and Morty. The shirt's cool, though. The shirt does look cool. The shirt looks Am cool. Am I a jerk if I wear it and I'm not a fan of the show? I don't think so. I'm probably going to do that. Well, the shirt's super soft, too. Yeah. So, like, just saying, the shirt is, like, very soft. But, yeah, so that was this month's crate. It was futuristic-themed. What was your favorite item? Oh, my God. That's really tough. It's I mean, it's a toss-up between the Mega Man figurine, because I love Mega Man, but the spaceship is so cool. The Futurama spaceship is awesome. I really like that it's magnetic. I'm way more entertained by that than I should be, and I like that it, like, swivels and stuff. I really, 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 really like the spaceship. Um, but I also like the Star Trek sticker, too, which I know some people probably think this is a dumb thing. But I'm going spaceship. I like it. I like it a lot. 
Yeah. So that is this month's Loot Crate. If you're interested in next month's Loot Crate, the theme is anti-hero, and it will have items from Harley Quinn, Kill Bill, Archer, and Hellboy. Um, yeah. As always, Loot Crate will include a t-shirt that is Loot Crate exclusive. You can't get it anywhere else. And as I find out more about the crate, I will let you guys know more. But that was this month's crate. I quite enjoyed it. So I hope that you are all having a wonderful day and that you liked our video. We're going to go, and we'll see you soon. We love you all. You're in the arts. We'll see you soon. Goodbye. 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 Bye, guys. Bye.